Hi there everybody and welcome to what is part two of our short series of videos regarding this moisture meter, the Tramex Concrete X5 Moisture Encounter. And in this video we're going to talk about how we can use this moisture meter to determine the presence of moisture on the surface of concrete behind tiles. In particular in this video we're going to show you ceramic tiles. What we're also going to do is during the course of this video is introduce you to this. This is an infrared thermometer and we're going to use this infrared thermometer in conjunction with this moisture meter to help determine that potential for moisture behind those tiles. If you can stick around to the end of the video, I'm also going to talk to you about a little maintenance tip with this machine as well, uh, which we covered off in the last one, but we're just going to cover it again uh, for clarity today. Um, so let's head over now to those ceramic tile floors and uh, see how we can use these meters. So. When it comes to measuring moisture on concrete floors uh, that are covered with these sorts of tiles, especially in a property that's been empty for a while um, or has no heating in it, um, such as after a flood, one of the causes for concern would be uh, the potential for uh, condensation on the surface of those tiles. And we need to try and rule that out if we can. So with this um, concrete X5 moisture meter, in this um, bottom row we have the readings from this uh, hygro probe. And what we can do is we can read across these and we can determine that the dew point temperature in this room is 14.6. So if these tiles, surface te temperature of these tiles is reading 14.6, we could suggest or find the potential for condensation on these tiles. And the way we measure that temperature is using one of these. So this is an infrared thermometer. So this unaffected tile, just move that moisture meter out of the way, is currently reading 18.7, 18.4, about 18.5 degrees centigrade. So what that tells us is it's way above the potential for condensation on this floor. And we could scan each tile very quickly using this, moisture, this infrared thermometer in conjunction with the readings from this um, X5 moisture encounter and determine that we can either include condensation as a potential condition for us to consider or rule it out. So as a rule of thumb, if that tile is reading within one to two degrees plus above the um, dew point temperature we could then determine that there is a potential for condensation which would give us what is called a false positive reading or in other words it would make it look like it was wet when we use this moisture meter. Okay so we are here on our um, ceramic tiled concrete floor and we have got our moisture meter so typically what people will do is they will have it set on moisture content for concrete. Um, technically for measuring through ceramic tiles you'd probably want a broader spectrum of measurement. Um, so it would be better to use the reference scale on this meter to measure through the ceramic tile. If you remember previously when we talked about measuring moisture on concrete, um, typically we want those pins to come into direct contact with the surface that we are trying to measure. So as we can't do that and we're going to measure through the ceramic tiles, um, we'd need to use a scale that um, would be a bit broader so we can get a better understanding of what's going on um, through those tiles. So here I'm just going to take what's called a control reading. So it's just reading my fingers at the moment. Um, so it's now zero. I'm going to press that on an unaffected tile. And on this occasion, we are getting a zero reading on that reference scale. So an unaffected tile, we know that um, this floor would generally read zero. In other words, it's not picking up any moisture. So that's a good sign. So now what we're going to do is we're going, we suspect that this tile and the moisture is leading to that wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a moisture reading using the reference scale on that tile. Press and hold. And we are getting a reference scale reading of 38.9. So that is a significant difference from the control reading. So that in itself would give us cause to want to investigate further. 
So what we can also do is where we've just got a positive reading for potential moisture content beneath that floor, but beneath that tile, sorry. What we can also do is measure the surface temperature using this infrared thermometer. So the control reading that we took, we can take a surface reading from that, which is currently reading 18.3. So that tells us that an unaffected tile is 18.3. And then where we got a positive reading, we can take another temperature reading from that, what we think is potentially a wet tile. And that's currently reading 16.4 degrees. So what's that showing us is that there is a two degree reduction in temperature. So when there's water underneath the ceramic tile, that can reduce the temperature um, by about two degrees. So it would be a positive indication that there is moisture beneath that tile and would indicate that further investigation is required. So that just shows how we can use the non-destructive uh, testing method with these two pieces of equipment the Tramex Concrete X5 and the infrared thermometer. What that means is, is that we've determined that there is a potential for moisture beneath this ceramic tile and what we can do now is we can start doing some more invasive um, testing and the method we could do for, use for that is again using this moisture meter we would attach our pin long probes or long probe sorry so what we'll do is we'll just attach these once you attach them it automatically goes straight to uh, the pin mode section and in the next video we'll show you how to determine which um, scale you're going to use um, through the menu but what we've done is we've attached these and it's taken straight to the WME um, scale what we would do is I'm just going to place this on the floor for the time being we would then take a um, masonry drill and we would drill two six millimeter holes in this grout line. The reason we use the grout line is because clearly it's easier to repair if we decide to leave the tiles down. Once we've actually drilled through that grout line, we're only drilling past or through the grout to the concrete beneath. What we're not doing is drilling through the concrete, we're just drilling to the surface. And then we would insert these probes um, directly uh, to the concrete beneath and get a reading. Just out of interest these are touching the surface and we're actually getting 8.9 as a reading uh, which would suggest to us that um, the um, surface is actually dry so there is still a potential for moisture beneath which is why pin probes um, on the surface are not always particularly accurate. So that would be the destructive method and that would help us determine what sort of um, remedial restoration works or damage management works uh, would occur next to address any moisture underneath this floor. Okay, so hopefully that practical demonstration with this moisture meter on those um, tiles has been helpful. Um, but one thing I did want to say was that um, when it comes to a scenario like that where you have a floor covering on concrete, especially uh, tiles, um, it's important to take all other information into consideration. So things like the edge of the property, its construction, um, the potential for a damp proof course um, or damp proof membranes under the floors, um, are thermoplastic tiles present or have they been present prior to the installation of the tiles? Um, what's the condition of the tiles like? Are the tiles cracked? Um, do they um, have the grout line separating from the tile or even worse, the grout actually coming away from, from the tile itself? Um, even we've seen where um, you can actually stand on a tile and water comes squelching out of the side of the tile, which clearly demonstrates that water is under there. So all of that information, um, along with things like where the water has come from, as in was the water a pipe underneath the floor which has leaked, which would determine that water is definitely under there, or is it a, a top-down escape of water where just some water has come from above and sat on the surface and, and not penetrated in into the tiles. So all of that information is vitally important and this is really only a verification, just another tool in the toolbox so to speak to determine whether or not there's um, moisture present and what the next course of action would be. So with that in mind, um, I did mention at the beginning of the video um, that I just mentioned another maintenance tip with this 
and I did say on the last video that um, with these um, pins I, use, I clean them with a bit of a tissue and, and, and some WD-40. Um, in actual fact that the best method as recommended by the manufacturer would be to use uh, something like isopropanol, a solvent, something like that or even just a dry cloth um, to clean those off and that would be sufficient. The other thing is, is that this actually comes with a dust cap um, you've seen the dust cap in the video um, always make sure that when when the machine is not being used that that dust cap stays on uh, on there just to protect that humidity probe uh, in the meter so that's all I wanted to cover on this occasion um, the next video we'll be talking about different accessories that come with that moisture meter which would include the wood pin probes um, the long probes which you saw in this video and also the high grow eye probe, the humidity probe, that comes with it as well. So hopefully all of that was useful and um, it's a benefit to you and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care.